Ooh. My Hero Academia. Uh, that, no, not fine. That has to go in excellent. Like, this is, My Hero is one of those series, one of the newer series that I think it definitely takes advantage of both the animation, the character development, uh, storytelling, just kind of everything. Like it hit at a very good time. And I know some people kind of give it a shit for its, uh, its animation quality, which never really understood that because I thought the animation was actually really good. But the story is insanely deep. Uh, the characters, the characters are well written. Uh, I love the use of powers. I love the way that characters can't just use their powers whenever they want. That there is a limit to them. I like that kind of backlash that you get in using a power. Like it's not just a you know I have this power and there is no limit to being able to actually activate it or use it. Like, you know, you only have so long before you're just left vulnerable. I mean, we first seen that with Midoriya when, I mean, he would obviously uh, break his limbs. That was a very obvious take to take because of that him never having powers. It made sense. But then when we get to, then when we get to, I think it was the end of season two, I think it was when they were trying to expand and grow the strength of the kids' powers. We got to see that powers do actually have the ability to grow and manifest into new abilities. And not only that, that, uh, what was it? Hot cold guy. He, uh, he actually has a really good quirk that, uh, he doesn't, he can regulate his body temperature by using his ice to cool himself down and keep himself from freezing from using his heat or Bakugo actually has recoil from using his explosions that his body can actually only take so much, but he can actually train himself to take more. Uh, or what was it? Uh, the pop off guy, the one that had the, the sticky hair, uh, his hair, his head will actually start, will actually start bleeding. That's an extremely good way to write characters and to have your, and to set up your story because that means that your characters do have limits that even though it is in a fantasy world, you know, they're not gods. Oh man. Moving on to Baruto. Uh, I have to say I'm putting that in trash for nothing more than like, I don't, I think I watched the first season of it. I uh, wasn't particularly feeling it, but, uh, you know, just knowing that the anime is 70, I think it was 70% or 80% filler. Yeah. Miss me with that. That's just that's garbage. Okay. Moving on to D gray man. Ooh, that's actually a really good series. Um, I think I really have to put D gray man in very good. I mean, I love the world that it sets up and it's so different. I know the anime kind of jumps around, but like just, just the, the world because just the world that it's set up is so freaking good with the, with the Earl and the powers that they can have and how different they are and the order like D gray man, I feel really does a lot of different things compared to some of the other anime that exist in Shonen. It's written in a way that it makes sense. Like, I don't ever feel like there's plot armor being used that they're definitely, everything's definitely getting like the setups for what happens within the show definitely makes sense. But now granted, I've not watched the gray man in a while. Um, but I have gone back to it a few times, a uh, lot more than some of the others uh, on this list. It's just been a really long time since I've watched D gray man, but I still remember a few things that I enjoyed about it. And uh, yeah, I, I think D gray man just is a very well done show.